first innovator pitching today, the winner of the Focus Right Europe Battleground, Gregory Botanis from Seatum Indoor Positioning. Gregory, kick us off. Morning. Hi. I guess that you didn't have any problems this morning to reach this place. But once inside, how did you, how did you reach this room? Maybe you followed the indications of the kind staff of Focus Right, and it was easy. But haven't you ever been lost in an airport trying to find a new boarding gate, or in a hotel or in a cruise trying to find your room, or in a shopping mall trying to locate your favorite outlet? OK, did you know that we spend more than 90% of our time in indoor environments where GPS signals simply don't work? And if more, what happens when you want to really go inside any building, any such position? Well, classical indoor positioning technologies were up to now or unfeasible from a technical point of view because they just didn't give the right precision to provide the right or an acceptable wayfinding experience, or they required a high and intensive use of hardware. Citroen came to solve this problem, how? 10 years ago, by creating a unique and disruptive technology that, unlike other positioning technologies, makes use of the already existing signals in any environment. We read the magnetic field, we read the Wi-Fi signal already existing, and if it's necessary, the Bluetooth as well, and we match this information with the data coming from the movement of the user as he's walking by. By matching these Wi-Fi electromagnetic signals with the information of the inertial sensors of the, of the smartphone, we are able to provide an algorithm that not only provides the highest precision, but it does it with the minimal infrastructure, opening the door to a new horizon of new applications for both wayfinding and tracking people and assets. And this technology is not only extremely precise, but it also can work in the absence of GPS signal and even mobile data connection. Uh, it's compatible with iOS and Android. It, since it requires a minimal infrastructure, the cost of the setup is the minimum and the shortest time for development, for in deployment. It's not intrusive and it's able to work even if you don't have your smartphone in the palm of your hand. You can have it in your pocket. It's efficient in terms of battery usage and it automatically detects the floor. Uh, on top of that, we have created a whole bunch of functionalities as customers have been requiring more and more from us for marketing purposes, for tracking, and for location access and people inside, in increasing the productivity of their staffs. That's the reason why this technology has been worldwide recognized with multiple awards. And this year, Citroen was included into the top 10 providers of indoor positioning technologies by Garner in the first pub Magic Quadrant published this year. But the best award we have is the confidence of our customers. Customers that we have got top reference in the best uh, in all the sectors that you can see here. As an example, we are present today in medical uh, groups like Iran, like Buba, like uh, public and private hospitals in Europe and in Turkey. We are as well present in the largest private security companies in the world, improving the efficiency and tracking of their staff of security and cleaning and operations and maintenance. We are also present in largest retailers like Algorithm Les or Carrefour in Europe. We are also in corporate buildings that go from banks in Singapore to even uh, technology companies here in the United States, passing through headquarters of Europe, uh, different companies in Europe and in, in Latin America. We are helping to the logistics industry to improve their processes. For instance, top car manufacturers as PSA are saving lots of money per year on factory using our technology. We are also working with leading telco operators like Telefonica or AIS in Asia. And we are also present in sports stadiums like Real Madrid Football Club in Santiago Bernabeu or in the Fila de Barcelona and in other exhibition centers. And of course, we are present in the travel industry. We are helping with just one solution addressing different needs. So with just one single application, one single solution, we are able to help hotels, airports, uh, railroad operators to improve the experience of the customer journey by providing wayfinding, but also we are able to track the staff, the track, the workforces, improving the productivity of their employees. And of course, we are able to use this information to monetize it in terms of geomarketing and bringing intelligence to the location. That's why we are helping today in Earth, Sea and Air to companies providing wayfinding to passengers of airports, train stations and smart cruises but we are also helping to improve the processes and the productivity in, of waiters, of clean people, of maintenance people, in airports, hotels, and vacational resorts. And of course, we are using this information to define which are the best commercial areas and how to improve the geomarketing location initiatives, improving 
the conversion rates. We have three licensing models, one per building, one per device, and one per use. And we have created a strong uh, network of channels with more than 50 partners that give us the corporate worldwide presence. c uh, team is composed by 25 fighters, resilient fighters that are share one dream, which is passion for excellence, and one obsession, that is to keep on having the best indoor positioning technology in the world. As a result, we are today present in more than 4,000 buildings with more than 2,000 beta testers trying our technology in more than 40 countries. Do you remember how GPS changed your life? Outdoors. Now imagine how Situm can change your life and the experience in your companies indoors. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gregory. Take a seat in the Dragon's Den. Dragons, what do we think? I, well, I think this is the startup competition. You know yeah. that, right? Hmm? <laughs> what is your progression that you still qual a startup? Are you, are you that young and that immature? I mean, it looks like you've had a lot of traction in certain areas. Well, I have to say, to be honest, that in these last three years, the ramp up has uh, been really uh, amazing. Uh, in fact, I would say that two years ago, we were a pure startup, a startup because we are starting in Spain, a small place of Spain, Galicia. And one year later, when our technology started to be watched by Telefonica and by other telco operators, they say, wow, this is really incredible. And the problem is that we were very small. But now, as soon as we are start to be known, the progress is really ramp up. It's really rocket up. Can you tell us what's unique here? So is it your technology? Is it the way you assemble data? Is it the processes you put around it? What's really unique about CDOM? What we need about you? Uh, what's unique about the company, about what you do? Is well, it the technology? Uh, well, I'm, I, I am particularly the vice president of business development and our company. What is the, what is the, the objective is basically to reach, to, to become the standard solution for indoor worldwide. This is basically the dream we have. It's becoming the Google Maps, but for indoors. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the devices? The devices we use, well, the, the wood point, uh, one of the two principles we had when we started the company was first that it should be working in everywhere so that any signal should be listened, should be uh, useful for us and should be working with as many devices as possible. So we only need, we need is any smart devices. If it has a gyroscope, it's much better, but if it, even if it doesn't, it can work even without the use of a gyroscope. So any smartphone, iOS or Android is enough. So I'm curious about, to, <clears throat> curious about the privacy implications here. Um, do, when you do a contract with a building, mm -hmm. do the users who are being tracked as they wander through the building, do they know that? How do you, cons how are you, how, how do you make sure that people's privacy is safeguarded here? Yeah, well, we, there are two approaches. As you see, we sell basically two types of solutions, one for wayfinding and one for tracking. The tracking solutions is something that we sell to corporate corporations, and they are the ones that need to fight with that, because we don't have the information of who is who. <laughs> we just give the, the technology, and they are the ones that are tracking their people. And in the case of wayfinding, in the same way that Google or, or any other application that makes use of your location data, we need to ask for the permission for that. So there is no any other legal implications further than those that are legally established. And if I could just follow up, and when you talk about monetizing the data, are you, what are you talking about there? How would you go about doing that? How do we monitor? Yeah. Well, we, we have... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mon monetizing. Yeah. yeah. We monetize it uh, through two ways, basically. Once, for instance, I put you an example of an airport. Airports, uh, with the information of all the people coming around, okay, and the staff itself, they can really know which are the hot areas, the, you know, the best sales areas in terms of where to put, the, to establish the outlets, okay? But the good thing is that we can use it for launching promotions based on location. So if we have the right time and the right place, we can really do the perfect marketing. Who do you compete with? Well, I would like to say that we compete with many players, but the only player that has no need of technology is us. There is another company, only one company in Finland that makes something similar, but I would say that's our is. But there are, there are 10 on that Gartner list you said, you were top 10, so yeah. it must be. This company is not included in that list. For instance. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. It is.